Hey everyone, Armando here from Armando's Exotic Zoo. I got a whole bunch of supplies from Home Depot. Got a few things over there too. I'm gonna go ahead and build Pacquiao a 4x2x2 two two for him to grow into that until he's ready to go into his big enclosure that I have over there. So I got all my stuff over here. I'm gonna go ahead and start unpacking everything and I'll take you guys through the process of how I build this enclosure. I'm gonna try to make it look like my rhino iguana enclosure, big poppy enclosure. So I try to make it look like that. So I'll put a picture in there so you guys can see what that's gonna look like. And we'll go ahead and get to it. So what I got here, I laid out a little uh, drop cloth. I've got the bottom here. I'm going around and I'm taking this Gorilla Tape and I'm just putting some around the, around the bottom so that I can get all my side pieces on there and I'm gonna tape them all together to make it easier for me to screw everything in. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and keep on doing this. Bring you guys along with me so you can see. I'm just putting a couple strips on each side so that I can tape all the sides on. Alright, so now that I've got all my sides taped together, I'm going to go ahead and take my drill and start screwing things in and we'll, we'll keep it going. Alright, so I've screwed in most of the sides, now I've turned it over upside down so I can screw the, the bottom here into the sides, alright? So I'm going to put it back on time lapse and I'll take you through that part. Alright guys, so I've put it all together for the most part, I got the sides together in the bottom really. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this dry lock extreme and it's a, it's a little waterproofing thing here that I've seen a lot of people using. I'm going to go ahead and use this to paint the inside of this here. While that dries, we'll go ahead and get started on some other things as well. But uh, first things first, we'll go ahead and start putting this dry lock in there. All right, so I've never used dry lock before, but it says to stir it up well before use, so I'm mixing it up. Seems like kind of thick stuff. I got the dry lock extreme. All the all the stuff I looked at said that dry lock extreme was the best one to use because it has a smooth finish. The regular dry lock has like a sandy finish, which I guess makes it a little tougher to work with. So I'll pour some of that in there. It's probably too much there. Like I said, never used it before. This is just an experiment I decided to do. I got inspired by watching a whole bunch of people making custom backgrounds. So we'll see how it goes. Never used this stuff before. Normally I use like polyurethane or different um, sealers that people use, but I wanted to try this this time because I like how it's white. That looks really nice already. I'm trying to just do a thin coat, let it dry, and then put another thin coat on, basically. Don't want to go too crazy with it. All right, everybody, so here you can see it's all pretty much done. I might add in another layer to the inside later on. I'm trying to let it dry right now. This is gonna be one of my front pieces I'm letting dry. This is my top piece. So right now it's laying on its backside. Okay, so this is gonna be my bottom side here. This is the front on the top right now. So what I'm gonna do is on this back piece down here at the bottom, I'm gonna take my spray foam, so I've got this 
gap filler. All right, great stuff, big gap filler. I'm gonna take that foam and I'm gonna spray the whole back of this wall here and maybe some of the sides and stuff too. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a nice little rock wall there, or at least try to. All right, so this is probably where I'm gonna wrap up for the night. So I sprayed all the spray foam in there, just kind of in a crazy little way there. I might end up buying another can of spray foam uh, just to be able to put some more back there. But we'll see, it still has to expand, so I'll let it expand and we'll see how it looks once it does that. So I'm gonna just go on and let this let this dry so that it can harden and do what it needs to do so that I can go ahead and do everything else that I need to do to make it into a rock wall. All right, so I'm gonna wrap things up for the night. I'll pick up tomorrow morning and we'll keep on going. All right, everybody, here you can see I've given it time to dry overnight. So that's what we have for foam. I bought another can, I'm gonna add more to the bottom there. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start laying my tiles down at the bottom. So I got to take the mortar outside. I'm going to mix it up and we'll get going on that. I've never worked with mortar before, so it'll be an interesting experience. Here we go. So here I am. I mixed up the mortar. Okay, so I just took it. I put it in here. I put some water in. I mixed it up. And I just kept on going until... It looked like the right consistency, which I'm not quite sure what is the right consistency since I've never used it before. But um, I took a break. I watched a whole bunch of videos on people mixing it. And I think I'm pretty close. So I'll show you guys what I'm going to do here. Um, when we make, we, we set tiles in, in Pacquiao's other enclosure he's going to have. But um, that was with a pre-mixed mortar. So this, this time is my first time using mortar that... I mixed myself, so we'll see how it goes. Not entirely sure how this is supposed to be, to be honest. Kind of just winging it, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. I like doing these experiments, trying to find out new things. All right, so basically something like that is what I'm going to do. And then I've got my tiles here. I'm just going to tuck them in there. This is all I could get so far. Um, honestly, not super happy with it. It didn't turn out the way I thought it would. Um, in Pacquiao's big enclosure, the tile, my wife laid it down for me and we used, um, like a pre-mix thing. Um, I bought this one that you mix yourself cause it was a lot cheaper and I thought it'd be easier for when I was doing the rock wall. But when it came down to laying this tile, I had no clue what I was doing. So hopefully I'll be able to save it by the end. We'll see what happens guys. I'll bring you guys along with me with um whatever i end up doing all right everybody so um like i said not perfect my tiles didn't work out the way i expected but um i'm gonna just leave that part till my wife gets back and can help me out to fix that um i got the the water bin right there just as a reference point because i was adding in some more spray foam so I tried to make a little ledge right there where he can get in and out. So yeah, it's pretty looking pretty good for what it is. You know, it's my first time ever trying something like this. So while I'm not super happy with it, I'm still happy I got to try it out and start figuring out the kinks and stuff like that. All right, everybody. So here, I mean, I've already shown you guys everything. So what I'm doing here, I moved the, the water tote out of the way. I mixed up some mortar. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this mortar and I'm gonna try to start mortaring up my, my rock wall. So I made my first batch a little bit thinner so that um, hopefully I'll be able to uh, just paint a nice thin layer over it first and then just keep on going and make it progressively thicker and thicker. So I'm just gonna try it with this paintbrush first. I'm not quite sure how I wanna do it. And then yeah, it's something like that. I'm gonna just go through 
paint up the whole thing, and take you guys along with me while I get it done. All right, so I just wanted to give an update here. I've been working for like probably over well over 16 hours by now. So, um, yeah, I've got the vents in there. I've already shown that a bunch of times. It's like my proudest part of this thing. Um, the rock wall starting to kind of take place, starting to look like a rock wall a little bit. I sprinkled a little bit of sand on there. Um, I just felt like it was really, really wet, so I sprinkled a little bit of sand on there. I don't know if I was supposed to or not, but I did. Looks cool. So I'm just gonna let that dry till tomorrow, but it's hardened up a lot, so I'm gonna let that dry. I'm thinking about painting the whole sides with the light layer of mortar. I think that looks kind of nice. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep on going. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like pre-build the, the lid and stuff and my doors and everything and then i'm gonna put them on here i'm gonna take them back off so that i can keep working but i want them to be done so that when i finish everything i just have to slap them back on and it'll be good to go all right i'm back my wife's back <laughs> so um this thing actually settled pretty nicely and then I was kind of fed up with it for a little bit so I let Ashley have at it for the second layer. So yeah, it looks pretty good. We patched up some of the spaces that were still showing and stuff like that. I bought my shop vat. I've always wanted one of those. I got that so that I can uh, vacuum out any loose stuff and things like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint it. I got this black paint. I'm going to go ahead and paint the outside. We'll set a time lapse and we'll take you guys through that. So we went through and we patched up any soft spots that we felt. We gave everything a second coat. I painted this little slope right here. Not so much of a slope on this side, but I tried. I thought it looked cool. It's like kind of coming down like that. So I have this water-based polyurethane I'm going to use. I'm just going to spray it in here real fast to help protect it and, and kind of waterproof it a little bit. Alright guys, so we had to change the plans. We're not going to use this for Pacquiao anymore. We're going to use this for someone else that we have. Uh, we haven't shown on the channel yet. So um, what we did here is uh, we got a paint tray for water. We put a little fake plant back there. We got this little logging for something to climb on. In here I made a dig box so he can get in here and dig around, have some substrate. There's a mixture in here of reptosoil, ground up peat moss. There's sphagnum moss in here and sand as well. So he can dig around in there, tunnel and things like that. We got our log here. I've got it propped up in there and I just got a little brick holding it down. Also we bought these little porcelain tiles here for the bottom. I went with bigger tiles just to make it easier. We just lay them in there. They'll be super easy to wipe down and stuff like that. So yeah, it'll be awesome. We're going to throw the front back on there in the lid and then We'll have to test it out overnight. We're gonna set a heat lamp on there, make sure all of this stuff is good. And uh, yeah, we'll get going from there. Thanks guys. All right, so I got the lid on here. I'm gonna go ahead and drill it on because um, I didn't show you guys that the first time. So I'm gonna drill the lid on. I'm gonna put our front piece on that goes here and I'll drill the door on as well. So you guys will get to see me do all of that. All right, so I made a hole here using my hole saw bit for our mercury vapor bulb. We're going to put some locks on these. Dig box. Over here is going to be his basking area. We put this rock here for him to get up on there if he wants to. Water area. So we're just going to let it sit for a while, make sure this rock wall does okay. Nothing melts. 
and then hopefully we'll get our guy in here, all right?